hello and welcome back guys in this video i'm going to show you how to get a domain uh, installing ssl your host and all. firstly you need a email so i registered this afresh so this is the uh, farm so to get this straight so we are going to use our uh, nameship as i said earlier so nameship.com i'll provide the link to that in the description so you put in your domain name that you love to buy maybe it's your brand name so you put it there and you search so immediately you search for it is going to pull it up if it's available and if it's available the price is not that costly so you can actually select the price if it loads up so now this is the price and um, you can easily click the add to cart and it's going to automatically join your card then you view the card you can easily check it out that way so with that you are going to have the domain automatically in your website as you can see we don't have an account we don't have anything set up so now let's go back and get our host in our cart also before we check out so if you notice very well i open a tab aside so now i select the shared hosting now as in, as you can see you see the, the shared host so if you scroll down a bit it's not completely load so let's wait for a while for it we have uh, three different package which is the stellar the stellar plus and the stellar business so it's based on you so you can either go for the two years which is going to give you enough discount i'm going to provide link to all these in the description below so i'm using nameship for almost all the website i do design because i just love their price it's kind of cheap so if you get the two years package it's going to be more or less so the one here is what i'm going to use for this example and i'll click uh on the get started on the uh the stellar version of it so it's going to automatically connect to the domain i have in my cart initially so then i'm uh, it doesn't need anything so i'll just click the add to cart button here so it's going to give me an option to log in very soon so now this is my daughter so it's already discounted I don't need to bother myself about that so let's scroll down i don't have anything to do here any longer so let's confirm the order then see how they are going to ask me to create my account so if i have an account initially i'm going to log in but now i didn't have an account so i'm going to quickly do the account okay now the form is ready i'll click on the create account and continue so which is going to automatically create account for me i will still need to verify though because they are still going to send an email to my gmail the email that i used that i created initially so you need one also then all these necessary forms are things you need to fill so you just need to specify with your job title your company title your legit address your phone number your city because if someone who is your domain name that's the details they are going they are going to see in case there is anything they want to contact you those are the numbers they will contact in order to contact you and the details the address maybe you know it's very important you put your real and legit details there for future reference so it's very important for this example i'm just trying to play around with it just to show you how things work here you understand so it's not really the real details here so as you can see the the domain name itself is not really complete now my email they already sent me a welcome ma mail so just to welcome me to uh to the platform so now i will need to cross check everything if it's okay then you can disable the automatic uh domain uh stuff here if you want i don't really have time for that because i'm going to remove my credit card after the purchase i'm just showing you this how to do it in case you want to do it so now let's click on the continue then i'll add my card asap so i'm going to skip that part after it loads a bit so i'm going to put my card details here now okay my card is connected so the domain registration the automatic so you can disable it and you can also disable the stellar below too so it's up to you so i click on the continue now now to check out they are going to cross check my card details then the payment is going to be processed soon as possible okay i have read the terms then we proceed so now i'm paying let's see how it's going to go as you can see it's not that hard to do if you follow the step you are going to get it step by step like this
okay our purchase is complete and um, they're asking me to do some um, verification or something a review so thanks for your order I, uh, so no time for that let's just keep it and um, do some other thing else so now I click on the Stella and on the manage on it so in order to see my C panel because with that I just show you the example it's going to I will have access to my C panel my own personal C panel and some other things yeah, so I want to disable the auto renew that I left unchecked the other time. So now it has been disabled. Now let's go to the next thing. Now I, I just click on the C panel and um, it's going to automatically show me. I waited a bit. The reason behind my waiting is I want my domain name to propagate with it. And also, you have to confirm this email. It's very important you confirm this email or else uh if you didn't confirm it it's not going to automatically work easy like that even after they give you your domain name is they might take it back from you so now i want to connect the ssl that's why i use the sign in with um name chip so now i'm going to sign in after i click after i click on the c panel i click on the ssl then i'm clicking on the uh sign in with name chip and i'm going to allow the access to my profile so this is going to give me the ability to connect with my cpanel and my namecheap account now i'm going to select the installed via namecheap ssl then it's automatically propagating by itself so you just have to click on the synchronize button and wait for 25 minutes or so uh, eventually it's still going to work don't worry it's not going to work now though so it's not going to work now but eventually it's still going to work it's going to automatically propagate by itself and you are going to see that shows the secure label on it so but for now it's not really working now so uh, we're supposed to get the mail from our from our server so now this is it immediate verification is very important so if you verify this email it's very if you did not verify it they will give you back your money so it's very important to do that so now our registration has been uh, successful and verified so now we can proceed with the next thing which is wait for this to propagate a while so immediately it propagates then our domain is ready and set is it ready to use so let's refresh this a bit if it has installed successfully so it takes a while before it propagates so that require you to be patient so okay now it's successful and it's supposed to give us a a padlock now but i think my cookie has saved that so i have to check it in incognito also so let's check it Control shift n i that's what i use guys oh my cookie is still there so but eventually it's still going to show your secure badge don't worry so that's just it guys now we connect our domain we connect our ssl and our host together but in some situation or maybe outside the um, platform you will need to change the dns now this one is using the direct name chip dns with so subscribe guys to my channel